Hundreds of vessels move in and out of ports, bays and waterways around Australia each day like a symphony. The code that makes this aquatic orchestra work so seamlessly is the understanding of marine radio. Whether a sea kayak, runabout, ferry or cruise liner, it's only when everyone understands and uses the right channels and protocols that it can all work together. Welcome to ACMA TV and today we're going to visit some of Sydney's best boating locations to hear from the experts about marine radio. Even the best prepared boaters can run into problems and that's why it's so important to not only have but know how to use your VHF radio. That's exactly right. Now there are two main types of marine radio for non-commercial vessels. They are marine VHF and 27 meg. VHF is now the predominant form of communication on the water because of the networks of base and repeater stations available around Australia. VHF radios have much better coverage, range, not to mention less interference than the older 27 meg radios. In every state in Australia there are dedicated teams of marine rescue workers from volunteers to police. These teams work around the clock to ensure the safety of recreational boat owners and commercial vessels. We are here at one of Australia's oldest and most iconic signalling stations, South Head in Sydney. So Greg, how important is it to use VHF radio when we're out on the water? It's very important to use VHF radio when you're out on the water. It's for your safety. You should do a radio check before you go out. You should listen for weather and warnings. Priority warnings are broadcast immediately. Uh, routine forecast generally every two hours from Marine Rescue. You should listen in case there's a call for help on VHF 16. And if you get into trouble, call for help on VHF channel 16. Earlier this year, while on a typical fishing expedition, Peter was caught out when a strong southerly wind picked up. Knowing this part of the harbour well, Peter decided it was best to find a more sheltered spot to fish until the wind died down. When Pete's normally trusty engine suddenly stopped, he found himself drifting steadily toward the rocks. Peter decides to call for immediate assistance on VHF Radio Emergency Channel 16. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Pete's boat, Pete's boat, Pete's boat. Mayday. Pete's boat. Inside North Head, an old man's hat. About 100 metres from the rocks. Strong wind blowing me towards the rocks. Engine has died and won't start. Two persons on board. Five metres silver. Runabout. I need immediate help. Over. At South Head, one operator takes down all the details while the other places are called to the water police and the nearest rescue boat. Marine Rescue Radio, back to Peter. Mayday, Pete's boat, Pete's boat, Pete's boat. This is Marine Rescue Port Jackson. Marine Rescue Port Jackson, Marine Rescue Port Jackson. Received Mayday, confirming your position at Old Man's Hat, 100 metres from the rocks and two people on board. Please make sure you have the life jackets on and put out your anchor. Rescue vessels are nearby and will be there as soon as possible. Stay on this channel, over. Peter replies, still on the emergency channel 16. Mayday, Marine Rescue, this is Pete's boat. Pete's boat. Position and person on board, correct? I will put out the anchor, over. Marine Rescue Port Jackson, having now spotted the distressed vessel through the binoculars to confirm the position, puts out a call to all the nearby vessels. Mayday Relay, Mayday Relay, Mayday Relay, all ships near North Head, all ships near North Head. This is Marine Rescue Port Jackson, Marine Rescue Port Jackson. Mayday Relay, Pete's boat, silver five metre runabout, being blown toward the rocks at Old Man's Hat. Position south, 33 degrees, 49.3. East 151 degrees, 15.4, two people on board. Any vessel able to assist, please call Marine Rescue Port Jackson on this channel and advise your position and the assistance available. Over. Meanwhile, the Water Police and a Marine Rescue vessel have been dispatched at high speed. Beach boat, this is Marine Rescue Middle Harbour, 3-0. We have received your mayday and are proceeding to your location at all haste. Out. So Greg, in short, what is correct operational procedure when it comes to making an emergency call? The correct procedure for making an emergency call is to change to channel 16, call Mayday, 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 then the name of your vessel three times, give your position, describe the problem, how many people on board, 
describe the vessel, local conditions and what you're planning to do. Leave your radio switched on and tuned to channel 16. This is so you can hear and respond to any distress calls. Always call on channel 16, then switch to a working channel. Use channels 72, 73 or 77 to call and work with other vessels. Use channel 73 to call and work with a coast station. And when finished, resume listening on channel 16. Remember your manners and no swearing. Be accurate, brief and clear. Greg, why is it important to have good microphone technique? It is important to have good microphone technique to convey your message clearly. Put your thumb on your cheek and speak across the microphone with a steady rhythm to avoid any distortion. Now, what are the things you need to think about with your marine radio, things you can check before you go out to sea? Okay, the three main things that you want to check before you head out to sea, um, the first one would be the radio unit itself and the handset. So obviously you want to make sure it turns on, um, all your channels are, are lighting up so you can highlight your channels. Um, you also want to make sure a lot of boats are exposed uh, to salt spray, things like that when they're out, so they can corrode, they can you know, get a little salt build up, things like that. So you want to make sure when you're finished for the day, you clean it off, so next time it will be free of corrosion. The second one is, is your aerial. You want to make sure that it's actually attached to your boat. People take them off for storage, putting them in garages, things like that. So make sure your aerial's on, it's attached, it's elevated, free of any obstruction. And the other thing about aerials, they can become flaky from UV, sun effects, things like that, salt. So uh, you want to make sure it's not flaky or crumbly, it's in good condition. And lastly, your battery. You want to make sure that it's fully charged, um, because the, obviously the radio's not going to work without a charged battery. Um, some people like to have a separate battery bank purely for their radios as an extra safety sort of uh, consideration. They believe that, you know, if everything else fails, your electronics, well, that's fine. You've got the extra battery there purely for your radio for that emergency situation if it arises. Thanks for watching ACMA TV. Now remember, next time you're on the water, use your marine radio to log on with local rescue services. And jump on the ACMA website for your copy of the VHF handbook.